Good Friday evening. I'm Lauren Day. Howard has the night off. If you could think of a gift you want for Christmas, what would it be? Well, for two local kids, it's making sure that students in their neighborhood have enough money for school lunches. Kimberly Speakman explains in a story of the two at nine. Kimberly? Bridget, Lord, these kids say they've heard about students going hungry at different schools, and they want to do something to change that. Meet Ashley and Alexis Sergio, two kids with one very big idea to help other children their age. Usually we go throughout this, like we usually have this little paper and then kind of write down what we want for Christmas and that was just something that came in our heads. The swine girl uh, couldn't have lunch because um, she didn't have money and um, she had to have like a different kind of lunch. Hearing this, they decide to raise money to pay off student school lunches in their community. So their thought was, if we help pay off the school lunch debts, then the parents would be able to afford to put presents under the tree. Their goal, to raise $10,000. We would get the money in our GoFundMe account, and then we'd give it out to the schools, and then they could possibly help pay for those who need it. Sandy Calio, principal of Barbers Point Elementary, says a donation like this could help many students. Coming from a school that is 60% Title I, which means they are at poverty or below poverty, this is a huge, a huge gift. She says even though it's only been one quarter, there are already families in the negative when it comes to paying for lunches. Right now, our balance is $67 that are stu of students who owe money. In the past, it has gone, uh, previous years, it has gone into the hundreds. She says she's thankful for what these two sisters are doing. It touches my heart that families are willing to do this uh, and donate. And what I think is even beautiful, even more beautiful, is that it came from the kids. It was a kid idea. And that, to me, says a huge amount, and that says a lot about that family. So far, they've raised about $1,800 for their fundraiser. To find out more, you can visit our website, khon2.com. Back to you.